the American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello, and welcome to the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. Today, we focus on a series of reports that chronicle the latest breakthroughs in healthcare. First up, we'll show you a revolutionary new non-surgical procedure that reverses a degenerative eye disease in just 30 minutes. Come on the American Health Journal. Keratoconus is an eye disease that changes the shape of the cornea. It occurs in one out of every 2,000 people. We spoke with Dr. Brian boxer Walkler of the boxer Walkler Vision Institute who explains more on keratoconus and talks about a new non-surgical procedure called Holcomb C3R. It can reverse the process and restore vision. Keratoconus is an eye disease that causes people to lose their vision because the cornea, which is the outside lens of the eye, is weak and can't hold the shape anymore, so it literally bulges out like a hernia, and that's what causes people to have tremendous problems with their vision, especially night vision. They can't drive at night after a while because of double vision, triple vision, and lots of halos and glares. So that's what keratoconus is, and that's how it really affects people's vision quite dramatically. How is keratoconus treated? Up till recently, the traditional treatment for keratoconus was an invasive and painful cornea transplant. So that had been what most doctors still today believe as the treatment for keratoconus when in fact we have something else that's less invasive and much easier for patients to recover from. The procedure that I came up with involves strengthening the cornea non-surgically using vitamin applications and light. And the two interact together to strengthen the cornea and that's how we can stop keratoconus right in its tracks. A lot of the original research for the Holcomb C3R procedure came from dermatology actually because that involves natural cross-linking in the skin. What we did is then we applied it to the eye, to the cornea specifically, to strengthen the cornea because we know that cross-linking in the cornea is actually the key to making it strong again. And how is the Holcomb procedure performed? The Holcomb C3R procedure is non-surgical and we use vitamin application with light and it's a 30 minute procedure. So patients are literally, they're sitting in a big cushy lounge chair here in our office as if they were going to be watching something on TV. And after the 30 minute procedure, they go home, we see them the next day and then they have fully recovered from the procedure. What we found is that the Holcomb C3R procedure has been so exciting for patients because in the past they were feeling dreaded that they'd have to go down the path of a cornea transplant. So we've taken them from going down that path and now with a non-invasive procedure in just 30 minutes we can stop keratoconus in its tracks. So this is a huge, huge advancement for the field. The treatment for keratoconus is named after Olympian Steve Holcomb. After Steve Holcomb had this miraculous comeback with the Olympics when he went from virtually retiring from his beloved sport of bobsledding to then winning an Olympic gold medal at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver was just almost a miracle in itself. When Steve was basically legally blind from keratoconus, he didn't feel it was safe to drive anymore, really for the safety of three guys behind him. He didn't want to have something terrible happen and have that on his you know, shoulders, so to speak. So that's why he was really set to retire from the sport. He went to 10 other eye doctors and everyone recommended a cornea transplant. But his team and his team doctor didn't want to accept that. They knew there had to be something else. And that's when they actually found me and the C3R procedure that I've been doing for keratoconus. After that, because Steve had really been so vocal about letting patients know, people know, that there is something aside from an invasive and painful cornea transplant using the C3R procedure. What I decided to do, and I approached Steve with this beforehand and explained I'd really love to honor him by renaming the procedure Holcomb C3R because he has been so powerful to let people know worldwide about this alternative treatment to cornea transplants. 